going in with a lower expectation is the way to do it. Just saying. <laughs> What's happening, my film nerds? David the Film Junkie here, bringing you a film review of Guardians of the Galaxy, a volume two. Guardians of the Galaxy, volume two, everybody's returning, man. We got Chris Pratt, Zoe Saldana, uh, Batista, Groot, Rocket, all the guys, and of course, James Gunn wrote and directed this sequel, and uh, this time we're seeing, um, well, we're seeing the aftermath, I guess, of the first. I guess, according to James Gunn, it's only about three or four months after the first one. So now the Guardians are being hired to basically stop things or take things, not really take them, but just being hired on as like, just like, a, I don't know, a team to, to prevent Big squiddy monsters from swallowing shit. Peter Quill's life gets a little monkey wrench in it when all of a sudden, <laughs> he meets his father, which, um, you know, no spoilers here, guys. That was actually in the trailer. We already knew that Kurt Russell was playing Ego, who is uh, Peter Quill's father. And like I said, there's not going to be any spoilers in here. I'm, you know, I'm not like that. I'll probably do a spoiler review over the weekend. So he meets his father, and of course things change. And then we've got these gold people who are pissed off at the Guardians. And that's pretty much it. There's, that's pretty much, I, that's all I can really say. So what did I think of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2? <gasps> yeah, it was good. I enjoyed it. But like I said in the beginning, and even with my first reaction review, going in with a lower expectation is the way to go because this movie is not as good as the first. Definitely not as good as the first, um, but it doesn't suffer that that sequel downfall that some some movies have, some franchises have, especially when it comes to superheroes, even though, you know, you can pick out a couple like Captain America and Dirty and the Dark Knight. Obviously, those sequels were just... <laughs> Phenomenal. But when it comes to Guardians of the Galaxy 2, let's let's talk about everything here. We got the visual effects. Now, I've heard people, and I'm going to start comparing it to some of the, the gripes that I've been hearing, too. I've heard people say that the visual effects don't look great at all. It's all cartoony and this, that, and this. And I'm just going, again, what is it supposed to look like? What are you comparing it to? Of course, it doesn't look real because it's not real. There's a lot of green screenage going on. Pretty much the whole movie is shot on green screen, which you cannot make fun of Justice League if you love this movie. Why did I bring Justice League into this goddamn review? DC shill! But there's a lot of pretty colors. It was off. It was not bad. It was everything looked good. When it came to the action, though, there wasn't as much action that I thought there was going to be. There was, it was a lot more tame, I guess you could say. But when there was action, it was done pretty well. A lot of good visuals in there, and I, I, I can imagine watching it in 3D probably would have been pretty magical. I didn't. I saw it on just the big, huge screen, which was good enough for me. Jokes. 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 Too many. Too many, way too many jokes because, well, you know, the dynamic of the group was still there, which is great, and I, I like the, the bickering back and forth. That's all that's all great. That's all really great, but it's just sometimes it just went over the top, and there are certain things in here where you're just going, wait, this was something that would be in, an, in a fucking Austin Powers movie. I laughed a lot, but there are some jokes where I just kind of went, eh, I winced, cringed, and went, no, just don't do that, James. I get it. I get it. You're a funny dude. You want to make a funny movie, a very entertaining movie, but let's tone it down with number three, okay? Now let's get to the characters and their further development. This is where the movie shines. You get a lot more backstory, especially, of course, with Peter Krill when he's learning about his father. And, and Ego, too, is cool. I mean, Kurt Russell did great. I, you, can't, you can't go wrong with Kurt Russell. And, of course, you can't go wrong with Chris Pratt. Their chemistry is great, but it's the only thing that I could gripe I'd have about the Ego character is, like, he's more just... He just has a bunch of exposition dialogue, and it's just, like, you, you go to something else, and then you come back, and, it's, uh, and he tells... Peter a little bit more about the, his history and everything, and it's just kind of going, okay, can we just get one scene to get the whole thing, and then that's it? They kind of took something a little bit from Man of Steel, I'm not going to lie, now that I think about it, and if you see the movie, you'll kind of recognize what I'm talking about, especially when you have father telling son things, and he's using visuals. Think about that one. I like learning more about Peter Quill and his struggle and the way that, and you know, how... How are you going to go your whole life? Okay, first off, your, your mom died tragically of cancer. You're finding out that your father is a celestial being, and that's why, oh yeah, I was able to hold that Infinity Stone. But then he's kind of struggling with other things too, and then of course with the dynamic of the group and trying to be the leader of the group, there's just a lot of things going on with Peter that I really liked. He kind of, they, they cut deep. Same with Gamora and Nebula, even though I cannot stand Nebula's overacting, what's her name? I mean... 
Uh, what's, I, I can't even remember her name right now, but hey, you know, let's, let's dial it back from 11 to maybe a 5. But I liked getting more history on them, especially Nebula. You kind of get, you get an idea why she's so pissed off, and of course, we all know who Daddy is. Rocket! You find out a lot about Rocket, about like, what's going on in here. I mean, there definitely is, and him and Yondu actually have really good, like, on-screen chemistry. Yeah, I mean, a lot of you know, back and forth and everything, but I really liked how they really went and they cut deep with Rocket. You kind of see, like, why is he such an ass? Why is he so disgruntled and everything? And, yeah, it's just kind of cool. And then speaking of Yondu, he shines. Michael Rooker shines in this movie. I tell you what, and, you know, it's just... Yeah, and I, I, I'm, I'm definitely going to do a spoiler review because I have something to say more about his character without giving away too much that I'm just going, yes, see, there you go, Marvel. There you go. Baby Groot. Baby Groot. Now, obviously, this was going to be a crowd favorite, and yes, there was a girl sitting next to me, and she was like, oh, oh, of course, like every time he's on there. And yes, Baby Groot is absolutely adorable. He's got his little funny moments. I mean, just being so tiny, it's just, it's hilarious. And then there's times, too, where he's he gets sad, and you just kind of go, why? Why, Baby Groot? Are you tugging right here? Drax. Fucking... <laughs> You like him, and then you don't. Drax was simply comic relief. That's all he was in this movie. He doesn't really do much when it comes to action. He's supposed to be, like, the big brooding, like, bodyguard dude, like, the, that's gonna rough somebody up, and he really doesn't do that. He just says a lot. I mean, a lot of this stuff that he says is funny, but then uh, some of it's just over the top, and you're going, really? Why? No. Stop it. I mean, I get it. He, he takes things literally, but you're just now making him really fucking stupid. Make him punch somebody and do some more things, and sadly, they just didn't really do do that with Drax. So Drax was a little bit of a disappointment. Then you got Mantis, who's a nice addition, who also was kind of dumb too. So then like you got the chemistry of Drax and Mantis back and forth, which actually worked because they were both kind of dumb. And then, of course she has her little powers, but she was a nice little addition and I, I'm, I, I'd like to see more of her. A lot of developing the characters in this one and they didn't really... James Gunn really didn't follow the similar formula that we're, that we're used to. I mean, the gold people, I forgot what they're actually called. They show up every now and then. They were pretty lame, but you know how Marvel Studios and their villains just kind of suck. But there's other things that happen where you kind of go, well, they're, they're not really what needs to be focused. We're kind of looking over here. But then again, it's just they kind of take you out of it because they show up and the way that their whole system is, you're kind of going, okay, that's cool. But after the first time, over it. The heart of the movie is just... The characters, the characters that we we know and love, and I, that's what really did it for me. So what did I think of Guardians of the Galaxy? Did I love it? Did I hate it? Is it gonna go on the favorite wall of 2017? Yeah, get it up there. Like I said, don't go in with super high expectation. I don't. I did not think it was better than the first one. Um, it, it's up there. I wouldn't say it's, you know, passing certain other Marvel. I don't know. I don't know where it'd be on the list of uh, superhero movies or Marvel movies. I don't know. But it's just, I, I did enjoy it because I went in there like going, okay, I'm not going to get, like, be too hyped about this as much as I do want to see this movie and I'm excited for it. I was just going, okay, this might just be like a full on just, I don't know. I don't know what to expect. And I walked out happy. I was actually pretty happy. And I really just dug the fact that James Gunn really got us to know these characters, even though Drax was like the most disappointing out of all that. So here we go, guys. That is my review of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Let me know if you saw the movie down below in the balls area and what you thought about it. And please hit that like thumbs up button if you'd be so kind. Subscribe to this channel. Subscribe to the other channel. Follow me on the social media stuff floating above my head. All right, guys. I'm going to go buy me a baby Groot. But what's the point? See, and then there's a gag. I mean, yeah, there's the five credit things. And then there's a gag. Eh, there's too many gags. There's just like sometimes it just takes you out of it. Anyways, guys, I'll talk to you later.